Shall we begin? Let's begin. Well, it's not too windy and I'm waiting on my old slow air compressor to catch up again. It's not real straight because I've still got to round it off on the corner here, but I cut it a little low right here on purpose. I've figured out a way that I don't have to order the cab corner or the rocker. I made me a whole piece. I cut it right down through there, down to right about here, and then go across to right about here and just have it all one piece there won't be a, a seam that continues on right here on this side any longer so basically what I'm doing is this is all gonna be formed back in but it's just gonna be one solid piece now I'm gonna try but I can't get this up in position exactly right but that will completely, once I'm welded in, that will completely remake that seam all the way across the back. Of course, I'm gonna have to come down this. Well, I'm gonna take it down. I'm gonna have to cut down right, right through here so that it will line up with this outer edge of the seam here where the spot welds are. Plus I've still gotta, gotta go get me some more grinding discs and uh, grind these spot welds the rest of the, well off, rest of the way off. I dented them in but I didn't grind them off yet. I pretty much got this one solved. Now, since I'm coming down across here to right about here and cutting across to probably right here that means I've got all this that I can use for my other rocker panel on the other side remember I just repaired the cab corner on that one yeah hazards of beating on this with a sledgehammer to get the metal loose from the spot welds. That sucker bit me good. Oh well. I'll brush it off and go on. But <clears throat> I'm gonna wrap it around here and just weld it to this piece the whole way down to here. But right here's where it started rotting off and I had to cut it up this far just to get all the rest off of it. This has still got a little bit on it, but I shined it up. Of course, when I shined it up, it made it uneven. But this right here is just surface rust. So if I can borrow my neighbor's sandblaster, I'll sandblast that off a little bit too, because I'm gonna have to completely reseal and repaint it too. When I do this thing, I'm doing door jams and all. But. I'm gonna weld it all the way to there, all the way across, grind that sucker down, fill it in with uh, body filler, dress it up, you won't even be able to tell it. Of course now you see I haven't gotten the, the metal off down here. I left that on for a reason. And I'm glad I did because this piece right here doesn't exactly form up exactly the same. I'm gonna have to make me a little relief cut right here to where it'll bend down and actually hit this part properly so that I can weld it on the inside there. But that's kind of where I'm at. Now let me show you where I got the, the metal from. The old rusty bed that I took off yeah, 
Notice something missing there? <laughs> now, this was all still good metal to the seam. The rust didn't start until right there. So I didn't get it anywhere where it was rusted. This was all good metal. Oh, I didn't even see that rust. Of course, that's just surface rust. That could have been cleaned up. But see the inside of the bed? It's just a matter of time before it ate through that too. It's real close to doing that now. That's a lot worse than, or looks a lot worse than it is. <coughs> but yeah, grind that sucker off right there. God, dang it. Whew. I guess I'm gonna have to go put some duct tape or something on this. going everywhere but since I only needed a couple pieces of metal I measured it out and I figured out that that one piece probably do everything I need it to do to cover up the rocker and that corner that way I don't have to order me a cab corner don't have to monkey with the rockers too awful much I am gonna have to cut it and bend it because of that little notch right there but that's why I had to cut it to get all the rust off of it now I was able to actually cut it even across here so at least I've got a straight line to go back to that ought to make it a little easier anyway looks like I might have to kill me a chicken dang it you can stop any time now I've only got so much of that stuff left I guess I might have to go get cleaned up but now like you see on this side the cab corner is fine still got to fill in that little spot right there and two little spots one right there one right there before that's filled in properly again and then this one I have a problem where I've still got to do the straight edge on it because it didn't come out so straight and there's still just a little bit of rust right there a little, a little bit of it so this one I may have to get creative with too but I've got enough metal there that I should be able to cut this up a little bit more because you see it's only just uh, like a quarter of an inch right there and I can come up as much as a half inch and still have enough metal to, to bolt it up there to it even. So I can come all the way up to here and just straight edge across and then I'll have it. And there's what I did last week. I gotta get this taken care of. Anyway, that's where I'm at with this one. Now this side won't look exactly like that side but the bed will be right up against it so you won't be able to tell and I did have a gentleman contact me back today saying that uh, he's got another bed off of a 99 which from 88 to 90 well 88 to 99 it's the same bed it's a long bed and it's red he told me that their insurance company bought them another one because they uh, took it to Home Depot and Home Depot dropped a pallet on the tailgate and bent the tailgate all to pieces and put a little dent in the bed. Told them I didn't care about a little dent. I can, I can deal with that. Nothing else I can straighten it out myself. And I didn't need a tailgate either. I got a good one right there in that bed liner along with the rest of my parts. But that's where I'm at. Uh, I'm gonna get this thing taken to the foundry now that I got all the junk off of it. Not putting another minute's worth of work into that. It's a lost cause. Get this frame sandblasted up. Get that cab corner molded properly and put in there. Like I said, it'll look a little bit different, but once I put the filler and everything on it, if you don't look hard, you won't ever know the difference. And it'll be all one piece. Um, for the corner and the rocker 
I'm going to take all that molding off of it because I can't stand molding. Then I'll get this sucker buffed down. Of course, I got to get the, still got to get up under here and get the transmission snatched loose and get the motor out of it. But that's where I'm at. Uh, thank you for watching and I'll talk to you later.